high-tech study of nutrigenomics has led to a greater understanding of how to feed an animal to its specific genetic potential. All tech specialists work with farmers and nutritionists to formulate diets that help to achieve a healthy and efficient digestive system. As animals absorb and utilize feed more efficiently, input costs are reduced, as is the environmental impact. Our team of all tech nutritionists and in touch feed specialists work hand in hand with nutritionists and farmers to help achieve this. Chris Lord, UK in touch manager, explains. So we would formulate rations around what he has on the farm and beyond that, what's available locally at the right price. So we need to chemically formulate these diets to match animal demands and performance targets that we would set. Not only are we formulating the rations, we're also monitoring the performance of those animals. So we're regularly um, benchmarking the, 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 the animals on farm. And based on the performance that we're seeing, we're, we're adjusting the rations accordingly. Our computers are, are, are doing all the number crunching. They're monitoring that data for us and pulling out where there's discrepancies, where things are going outside set parameters and, and so on. So from that data then, um, we will put the performance figures in with it. So we have the inputs on the farm, the feed costs, and we will bring that together with the, the, the milk yield and the, and the performance data. So that will then create a report for us to um, look at feed conversion efficiencies, feed cost per litre, feed cost per kilo gain, and, and so on. And from that benchmark, we know where we are now. We go again, benchmark again in a week or two's time, what is the difference? And if we're tweaking the ration according to that, we can then therefore see has that ration change been cost effective? Has it been efficient? And that can influence the next decision and the next step that we make. So when we get performance, um, animal performance data into our system, we collate that with the, the feed inputs and that will pr provide us with a, a ration performance monitor. So that would, um, that would give us details of feed conversion efficiency, dry matter intake, feed cost per litre, margin overfeed, margin per cow and so on and so forth. That data is then collated into a, a monthly league table that would send, send out to all of our customers. So that enables them to benchmark themselves against their peers and farmers within their locality. So if there's anything they're doing that is perhaps below standard, it would be highlighted and they can see where they need to strive for to bump themselves up our league table. On a dairy farm, it, it, it's much easier to, to, to judge performance. You know, every day we're getting uh, the output, you know, how much milk is in the tank. So it's easy to track performance. On a beef farm, we need to know the weight of the animals and how fast they're growing, what is their daily live weight gain. Now, traditionally, farmers just do not weigh their animals enough. Without that weighing data, we can't judge the performance. So farmers are cottoning onto that and there's a lot more weighing systems going in. With the advent of EID tags, it's very easy to associate the animal to the weight, and now we can associate the feed intake back to that animal. So we can calculate um, on a per pen basis, not only the feed intake of that animal, if we have the weight data, we can calculate the feed conversion ratios, and feed cost per live weight gain of that animal. If your nutritionist is prescribing the ration on that farm, in touch would ensure that that ration is fed correctly both chemically, so we would track that the ration formulation fed to the animals is the one that's prescribed by the nutritionist. If there's any deviations from that, it will be flagged up within InTouch. They will then make contact with the farmer or his nutritionist or his consultant to notify them of, of, of this, and then they can act upon it. So the InTouch app would give you control at your fingertips. So we, it enables us to input our ingredients. We can set the cost and the dry matter of each ingredient and also the category of the ingredients so the machine knows how to handle it and how many rotations to give it. We can also go into our pens of animals. So we can adjust animal numbers. We can adjust the proportion of ration fed to those groups and we can also make changes to our rations and this will be instantly sent to the in-touch controller on the machine to be fed by the operator. We can actually input our production data into the system via the app. So when we formulate a ration um, chemically, that's only half the story. You know, the other half is the physical presentation of the ration and getting it fed out in front of the animals properly.